little Harley Benton Freaks. Uh, you might have already seen it, but now I'm unboxing it. It's a time travel thing. I'm wearing the shirt I wore in the, in the last video. Why doesn't anyone say something? Bye bye, bear. And hello, tree scene. There we go. Mr. Goo Goo has it all. Uh, we're looking at a T-style fan fret something guitar. Comes with the wrench in case it needs to be set up. Oh, they sent it in the wrong color, but okay. Fine then. Whoa! I'm happy they sent it in the wrong color because look! Whoa! <laughs> That's a burly kind of a quilt. Whoa, fuck you, yeah, wow. Whoa, fuck you, yeah, wow. Oh, I'm dizzy. Holy crap, it's it's so awesome, it's making me dizzy. What the? I need some something sour stuff. When I was at home and I checked this out, in a satin flame dark gray. It looked like a very clear homage to the Chapman Rubia signature. Only in shape and color. Everything else is pretty much different. Well, except reversed tally headstock, locking tuners, and the color. Obviously, Rubia's is not fan fret, which I'm technically not allowed really to say because that's still kind of a patent trademark of the guy who invented it in the 80s you're allowed to say it um, so it is multi-scale Lilu Dallas multi-scale I say this all the time but I'm happy they send it in not the satin because now I get to see the other color which is just sadly now we're looking at the same color for the single card and this but whatever look at this That is just stunning. This thing's $2.99. Um, let's look at some features. Belly calf. Oh my god, even the grain on the, I'm gonna call this ash. If you need any actual stats, please go to the website, link below, and look it up. Because I don't know them. Um, we have this uh, better access something. Uh, Five-piece neck, looks like it's some mahogany, could be walnut, you look it up, I don't know, I, I could have looked it up, but I didn't. Uh, we have Harley Benton locking tuners, which I have on my signature, and they're pretty damn awesome. The headstock is quite massive, because it's a seven string. And neck dive, oh hell yes, look at it, woo, way more neck dive than the single cut. Um, it's a little bit sad that the... Here. Come on, focus. Here we go. That the nut is quite high. That could have been filed down quite a bit more. You can do that yourself, of course, but you really shouldn't. Because look, that's that's just way too much material left over. Well, whatever. Um fretboard material is <sighs> there's some metal shavings left. I don't know what the fretboard material is. It's black. Look it up. Um, obviously, the top is a ultra thin veneer. Oh, too bad. Too bad. It looked pretty damn flawless. And let's see if we can see this right here. I think we can. There's a tiny little ding in it. Let's see. I'm working on something here. Can you see that? Right there. It's a tiny little... It got dinged a bit. Nothing major, but sadly at a, at a point where you see, you look at it all the freaking time. Oh my god, the top is... If I had that top at a, on a guitar worth 4,000 bucks... I wouldn't bitch about it. It would, of course, be solid and not veneer, but if you could... It is so deep, she said. And then... 
And then here it goes into these uh, bird's eye-ish, burly kind of things. I just want to hang this on the wall and never return it. Okay, in HBZ custom wound pickups, um, 24 frets, individual thingies, string through body. Uh, it's very clearly not a Brian Z3 rock and roll guitar. So let's see how well the tuners work. The headstock feels weird. It's just this massive thing. She said, um, why? I'm going to go to B. With reversed headstocks, I'm sorry, but they're always tough to tune. I always feel like my, my fingers just trip over each other. Okay, the action is quite high on this one, so we shouldn't have any fret buzz. Tuners, when you first move them, have a little click and then they start. So they just get stuck in idle position, but then they work fine. Nice, okay. We're good. God, this is gorgeous. So we're gonna go Universal Audio Ox with Rev Dynamis. Look at all this crap here. Uh, Rev Dynamis into the Ox with a 412. Interesting. A lot less brightness than the single cut had. Isn't that strange? Sounds a little bit dull. Little bit buzz here. All the frets are there. Catch okay, very small up here. Biggest fan of that sound. It's a sound you can use. Obviously, are you ever gonna you play this clean over here? Probably not. Yeah, guys, we get some bite here. That's probably what you would use if you played clean stuff. Do the same cap, uh, same cap, but uh, the Friedman Small Box Fifty. <laughs> pick up up a bit higher can you take me high enough 
You know that song? Probably not. Uh, nothing happens. Ah, here we go. Nope, it doesn't come up because the springs that are underneath are not strong enough to push up the pickup. So when you loosen the screws, the, the springs that are underneath should push up the pickup. But as you can see, it's falling right back down. So I can't actually raise it. Hmm. Stronger springs would be good for this guitar. Now the pickup's just flipping about. I'm thinking if you raise this, you probably have more bite and punch. So, but you can't do it. Well, just get some little springs. You can probably even get something from a pencil. They're not a pencil. What are those things called? Pens. You know, it's like a little spring that's in a pen. But you shouldn't have to. It's a little bit dull there. But let's go to the Rev generator 100p. Change caps to the Torpedo Studio with the Rev 212. <laughs> and all of a sudden, we're there. Okay. And the note was gone. It was so nice. And we're in the La Boga. DS Diamond Sound 50 way back on the cab behind me. Notice the fan freddiness, I gotta admit.
Oh, this doesn't want to go. Okay, we're going to say we know what we want to know. I know what I want to know. So, the TE7 Fan Fred Deluxe, I think the name is stupid. <laughs> Come up with a cool name. I want this to be the Ernst for the serious meddler. Get it, Ernst? Hmm. I think it would be funny for Germans. Um, it's $2.99. You will not find a similar instrument in this price range. Period. You will not find a T-style. That looks fucking gorgeous. I'm sorry, the top is ridiculous. I want to cut that top off and smack it on another guitar. Ridiculously beautiful, if you like, porn kind of tops. Wow. Uh, it is really well done, except for the little ding there, which is too bad. Um, it is simplistic, three-position switch. You have two dome head knobs, which are nice. Uh, they don't have the little screws, so they come right off. Uh, adding the extra two cents for the one with the little screw might be a good idea. Obviously, they got to save wherever they can. That's a little. That's a little stuff where you see the difference in price, and you shouldn't because you know shouldn't come off. Uh, buy the one with the little screw, Lasse. Come on, Lasse is the Harley Benton man. Nice guy. So, uh, individual thing, it's, it's a clear, straightforward design. And it's very clearly an axe made for the heavy stuff. Setup has some dead notes. This thing should come up higher. That would give us some more bite. You might want to exchange the pickups. Question is, is it even possible? Because these are clearly made for fan fret and there's different kinds of fan fret scales. So I don't know how many seven string fan fret pickups you will find that will fit into these cavities. Um, just raising this might already do the trick. Again, setup is a little bit higher. I would like to come, I would like it to come down a bit, but then the question is, will we have way more buzz probably and even more dead notes? So yeah, that's not ideal. Yet again, is a metal axe that has a super unique and beautiful look, delivers good sounds, it needs to be a little bit brighter. $2.99 is a ridiculous price for what is delivered here. You might want to have you might have to bring this to a Luthier of your choice. It's not it's not perfectly set up. That those dead spots there, they might have to, you know, level the frets, or I don't know what you have to do. Uh, $2.99. If you have to put a little bit more money into this, which you shouldn't have to, by the way, you shouldn't have to, but you have to. But if you have to, and you're at $3.99, you will not find an instrument that's a T style with a freaking top like this. I'm sorry, but. I'm sorry, Abanis. I'm, 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 I love you guys, but this top, you don't deliver at a thousand bucks. I'm not shitting you. They don't. This top is one of the most stunning tops I've ever seen with the quilt and the... It's ridiculous. Uh, obviously, a top doesn't make a great guitar. These dead spots are a problem. Order yourself one, link below. Send it back if it's got too many problems. To get a top like this, I'm I'm even thinking. I want to keep this somehow. I mean, I, I don't know what what for. Because I have great seven string guitars, but that top is just beautiful. Leslie, can we hang it in your living room? She said, "Okay, you like it? You think it's pretty?" Yeah, I do. Leslie doesn't like a single guitar I have. Okay, it won the. T7 Fran Fred Deluxe won because Leslie likes it. It's going in her house. That's it. Um, links below. And um, animals at the end. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, I'm a handsome prince and I live in a fairy tale land. I know really lots of things. Let me show you, my friend. 
I'm a magic star and I live on the Milky Way And I'm going to steal your cars, I got nothing more to say The sun shines and the world is fine, but I think there must be more I just want you to reply 